We are getting ready for the start of a new school year. You can feel the excitement around our campus and schools across the region. So many students are heading off back to school, grade school, high school, off to school, college. It's a very special time and obviously we pray that all of our young people, all of our students, teachers, faculty and staff will have an amazing year, a year of learning and of growth, a year that is peaceful, loving, joyful, safe. And as we send our students back to school as adults, we would all say, it's really good that they're going off to learn more. But St. Ambrose, our patron saint, reminds us that there's no point in life past learning something. In fact, the word disciple, which you and I are called to be, it means, the word itself means, the learned ones. The learned ones in the ways of the Lord. As we walk into the fall season, three things. One, let's really pray for all of our faculty, staff, teachers, students, bus drivers. Really pray that this will be a great year and that everyone will be safe. Secondly, find a way for yourself to learn more about the ways of the Lord. Learn more about scripture, prayer, and the richness and the fullness of our faith. And thirdly, with me today is our very own Father Vasco. And Father Vasco has a very special invitation so that you can learn more about the work that he's doing in India and his culture and the Catholic Church in India. I would like to invite you all for Authentic Indian Dinner on 2nd of September at 5.30. My bishop and I will be there. We will cook personally for you and we would like to inform you more about the progress of the girls and the work we are doing with Talita Kumi. We are trying to break the cycle of poverty for these vulnerable, marginalized girls. Welcome and experience the taste of India. So God bless you, Father Basco, and again, God bless all of our students, faculty and staff. As you can see in here, we are ramping up for an amazing year where every student will get a lift to the glory of God at St. Ambrose.